y'all, it's Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video for you. I'm gonna show you how to use your t-shirt guide on a toddler size shirt. Now this is just my standard 16 inch t-shirt guide because we are using my standard 16 by 20 inch press. Now, some things you're gonna need to know. You're gonna need your pre heat press preheated to 330 degrees for 15 seconds. I am using a black Bella and Canvas size 2T t-shirt. The vinyl I'm using is the red and the white Thermaflex Plus. And the file that I'm using is the Caution I Break Hearts file. It is from Love SVG, the Flash Surprise Bundle. Um, it's $14, and I will have it linked down in the description box down below. If you're interested in purchasing it, there's like 465 different cut files in there, and it includes a commercial license. Um, now remember, if you do purchase off the link, I do earn a small commission, and I appreciate it if you do, but you don't have to. So you're gonna need that, scissors, your Teflon sheet, as well as your Easy Weed and Wooden Pick. Now remember, if you're interested in purchasing the vinyl, the t-shirt guide, the pick, those types of things, they are, are available on our website. Um, if you use the code BEMINE, all caps, capital B-E-M-I-N-E, -E, you can save 14% off. We're running a sale because we hit 90,000 subscribers and it is due to y'all, so I figured, you know, celebrate with a discount for y'all. Again, you don't have to purchase from us, but we appreciate it when you do. Now, if you'll give me a moment to get the camera angle changed, I will show you everything that we are going to do. Okay, so as you can see, we are going ahead and trimming down the vinyl. Now, excuse the audio on this because I am doing a voiceover after the fact. For some reason, my microphone was not working, so we are dealing with this. Anyways, so now what I'm doing is trimming down the vinyl to cut off all the excess so we can include that into the scrap box drawing. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the weeding process. Now again, this is the Thermaflex red that I'm using. As you can see, it weeds like a dream. So simple to use. I am in love with this material and my Easy Weed and Wooden Pick. As you can see, it's my favorite tool for doing this. And you don't have to be very gentle with it. It is it can stand a little bit of pressure when you are doing this. So we are almost finished with the red layer. And whenever I cut this, I cut it all in one piece, exactly the placement on the shirt. Now I realize that it does waste some vinyl, but it does make lining up your shirt a lot easier. There we go. Now we're fixing to pull out all the few little centers that are in there. And then we're going to do the same thing again with the white. But as you can see, it really doesn't take a whole, whole lot of time. Now we're going to go ahead and move that out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and trim down the white. Now these are not in the exact placement that it is going to be on the shirt. We did go ahead and make it where it's saved on vinyl. Because I know I get a lot of comments over, oh my goodness, look how much vinyl she wastes. <laughs> but, you know, I try to make things as simple as possible for me. To me, it is, I would rather waste some and make it go a lot faster, especially since I do this all day, every day, than to sit there and spend an hour trying to piece things in. But I do understand for people who don't do this for a living or who are on a more limited budget where you would want to save as much vinyl as possible. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut the arrow off of the design. As you can see, I'm cutting very, very close to the eye break words because we're going to go ahead and piece that in before we stick it onto the shirt. Okay, as you can see, I'm trimming off the excess plastic as well towards the top, so that way I don't have to worry about anything overlapping. What I'm going to go ahead and do right now is go ahead and get the center of my design without the white on it, so that way I don't have to fold it and worry about my white shifting once I lay that on there. And I get my placement. 
so that way none of the clear covers up the red letters. That's why you want to make sure to cut around it so that way because if that clear overlaps then it, the red will not adhere to the shirt. Okay, so now I'm going to take and go lay my shirt onto my heat press which, as I said, the heat press is preheated to 330 degrees. I pull the collar off of it. Excuse me, there are a few little fuzz balls on my shirt. Now I'm going to take my 16-inch t-shirt bag, because as you can see, my heat press is 16 inches, and lay it corner to corner. And if you look at it, you can see that it still lines up center with the shirt. So you buy for your heat press. You don't need multiple sizes of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my vinyl and line my center line up on to the center of the ruler. Now, since this is a toddler size shirt, I do bring it closer to the neck than what I would on an adult size. I typically bring it maybe one to two fingertips down from the neckline because if you put it three fingers down, then it ends up looking like it's on the belly of the shirt versus being where it is actually supposed to be at. Now I'm going to take and grab the arrow and line that piece up and making sure again not to overlap the vinyl over any plastic because if you overlap the vinyl on the plastic then it messes it up. Now I'm going to grab my Teflon sheet and cover and start the pressing process. Now my heat press is set for 35 seconds at 330 degrees but I take and stop it at 20 seconds, so it does do the full 15 seconds. Okay, now that is ready to go. Now I'm going to take and remove the plastic liner off of the shirt. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and take and recover the shirt with a Teflon sheet and press it again for another 15 seconds just to make sure my vinyl is adhered. So as you can see, it really doesn't take a whole lot of time from start to finish. And I really do love this file from Love SVG. There are a lot of really cute ones in there. And if you don't design your own files, buying them like that is a great way to do it because it's inexpensive and you get a lot for your money. Now look how cute that looks. Now, I'm not sure we're going to take a look, and if you can kind of see the texture of the shirt showing through, that is how you know your vinyl is adhered. It is ready to be washed, dried, but you want to make sure you can see that pressure through. Now, remember, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below, and if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Um, again, check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, as well as my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. And I do all things Disney, all my makeup stuff's over there. But other than that, I guess that's it. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye.